Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for September 23rd through uh, for August 23rd through September 8th. <clears throat> for September 25th to 29th, this is what we're forecasting here. Trough in the northwest. We have a strong ridge here over uh, the south central states. Trough here in the east. Now, as we go through the period. This trough moves further inland. This will push that ridge further to the east. And it's a strong ridge for this time of year, 594 dm, approaching 600 dms here across the southern plains. This will spread the hot temperatures here eastward into the east central states as we go through next week. All right, so um, we're going to take a look at the temperature forecast that we're expecting for that time. And um, all right, this is for uh, the North American view. And we go here, we're expecting uh, 90s here across the uh, southeast. Then as we go to next week, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we see we have uh, 90s, 100s here um, across uh, the plains into the southeast and lower middle Atlantic region. And as we go to the 29th, now we start seeing 80 to 80 start approaching here to the northern mid-Atlantic region. So um, this hot uh, weather will return again, but hot temperatures will remain across this area. Now another thing, as um, this pattern occurs, this will bring a break in the subtropical uh, and the uh, monsoonal flow across parts of the southeast. And we'll take a look if I have those models. Okay, I don't have them. I can get them right now. Um, okay, we'll look at the um, different models here. So this will bring a break in the subtropical, and the I keep saying subtropical, into the monsoonal flow pattern as we get further into the one. So here we go to the 29th. Oops, these models aren't loaded yet. Here we are at the 27th. We start seeing no activity here. Then we go to the 28th. Still a little bit of um, precipitation here. Then we get work into the 29th and 30th. You see that it's basically dry across this region. But that again, that'll pick up again later. Okay, so uh, with this, we expect, uh, as this trough moves inland, we expect some rain, a higher elevation snow, believe it or not, in parts of the northern Rockies. Take a look at the GFS. And that will bring snow across the northern Rockies. And like I told you, the um, hot temperatures will continue across the southern plains and to the east. Okay, we're going to look now at the pattern for September 30th through September 3rd. Yeah, 30th to the 3rd. Now we have a zone of flow. Oops. We have a zone of flow across much of the country. And we have a broad ridge covering this a uh, large portion of the country as well as that. So for this forecast period, I am calling for below normal temperatures here with anomalies. Uh, forecast being near two degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here with anomalies close to 10 degrees above normal across here and parts of the southeast. That's the change from yesterday. And for precipitation, Calling for above normal precipitation here, probability of currents 35%. Above normal precipitation for this region here, probability of currents is near 35%. Now we're going to take a look at the period for September 4th to the 8th. And um, we don't see much of a change. Still above normal heights across much of the country. We have our ridge here. There are indications of a trough here across the northeast. And Great Lake, you see a little bit of a dip here, but it's not much. So um, for this forecast period, I am calling for 
above normal temperatures for much of the country except for the southeast and expected anomalies to be near 8 degrees above normal mainly here and for precipitation call for above normal precipitation from the Rockies to Atlantic coast probability of occurrence is near 35 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for August 23rd through September 8th thanks for coming to Jim Munley's world of weather and have a good day